What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video, we are talking about summer finesse fishing. More importantly, three different ways to rig a Ned rig to catch fish right now. Believe it or not, summertime fishing isn't all about frog fishing or flipping or punching or throwing a swim bait or wake bait, a big Texas rig worm. You can start with that, but sometimes, let's be honest, the fishing just sucks. The bite sucks, it gets really, really tough, and sometimes you have to slow down, finesse fish, and downsize, even in the summer. You guys know how well a Ned rig works, right? It works for smallmouth, spotted bass, largemouth, it works for everything, but summertime fishing, sometimes, you can tweak those baits just a little bit, rig them a little bit differently to have success right now. So that's what I wanna talk about today. I got three different ways to rig a Ned rig uh, that will help you fish uh, through the summer months and catch fish. Like I said, it's not always a great reaction bite. It's not always blasting them on a, on a whopper plopper or a frog or a big swim bait or you know flipping or punching, pitching the grass. Sometimes it's slow dragging a smaller downsized Ned rig to catch those finicky fish. You know, it gets hot, DO levels, dissolved oxygen level, uh, water levels uh, drop. Those fish just kind of get, they just get kind of irritable, funky, right? Um, right now is the hottest time of the year. Uh, the water temps are the highest. Sometimes especially middle of the day, downsizing can be your friend. So let's start off with probably the first way that I like to rig a Ned rig right now. Right now we're talking about grass, right? We've taught you guys that, a uh, little bit of wind coming in. We taught you guys that uh, find the bait, find the bass, find the grass, find the bass, uh, find that real green lush ba uh, grass and you will find the bass, right? Uh, through photosynthesis, that, that grass kind of filters the water, produces oxygen. Those fish, the bait fish, love the grass. So, a Texas rig, Ned rig. You know, typically, when we're talking Ned rigs, we're talking open water, exposed hook, right? Of course, I dropped my bait. But right now, even the crawdads, the crayfish, the crawdads, whatever you guys want to call them, are around the grass. They're on the grass. You'll look into the grass. You'll see those green, pumpkin, brownish, red. Some of them are bright red. Crawdads just kind of creeping all over the uh, the grass. Let me grab a bait here. Pull this guy out for you. Rig, rig these for you guys for this video. So one of my favorite ways to catch them is going to be a downsized, this is the TRD Bugs, but it's rigged weedless, it's rigged Texas rig, okay? So now, even with a light flipping setup or a light, medium light spinning setup, you can fish around the grass, but not worry about having to get caught up in the grass, and that is the key. So, that's that TRD Bugs, that is rigged on this Nedlock hook. I'll show you guys how to rig this thing real quick. So, pull this thing off. The secret to rigging these things straight and, and good is don't take too much right off the top. Just go right in about an eighth of an inch, bring it down, turn it on itself, and then give yourself a nice little Nice little, I'm tearing this thing all up, unrigging it and re-rigging it, but you guys will get the, get the picture. Giving yourself a nice weedless presentation, right? So a Ned rig, rigged weedless Texas rig is a must, especially this time of the year. You offshore fishermen, you guys that like to fish the grass lines or fish the deeper wood or rock piles, this works great, but I got something even better for you. I like to throw a football head Ned rig. 
Still a stout hook. You can throw this on a bait caster, a light bait caster, but that football head fishes really well around rock, around mud. It's got that wider profile. So if you're fishing offshore, you're fishing that rock, that guy right there is a must. Now the difference is between the Texas rig and the exposed hook, obviously is the uh, fishability around grass and stuff without having as many snags. So if you're in open water, deep water fishing, go with that football styles, style head. That is a great bait. You know, a lot of times those fish, especially this time of the year, like to go deep. They like to go find that deeper water, water temperatures are lower, um, and sometimes the bait are just offshore. So go with that guy right there. If not, try fishing the weedless bait. That guy is money. Now, one trick, one trick with fishing all of the Elaztec baits, all the Z-Man baits, make sure when you're rigging them, make sure you take, take some time and kind of stretch that bait out. It kind of releases the salt. It just makes the bait more, um, gives the bait more action, kind of frees up the bait, just kind of stretching that thing, kind of breaking it in, if you will. But uh, the next way I want to talk about rigging a Ned rig right now is going to be the giant TRD. And I don't think a lot of guys talk about these things. Um, at least I haven't heard a lot, but it is a giant Ned rig. Let me show you the standard size. <laughs> Look at that. Now the benefit, obviously we've done a lot of, um, Magnum worm videos. We've done a lot of summertime offshore fishing videos. That is where this bait really comes to shine. You're just upscaling your bait, right? You can fish it on heavier line, heavier tackle, but I like to rig these giant TRDs on some kind of pivot point football heads, some kind of moving head. Now what this allows the bait to do, this head's down there, bottom contact, has a ton of movement. You know, again, this bait is high float. It has a ton of movement. And right now, fish eat them up. So stretch that thing out. Again, rig it on your favorite pivot point football head. But if you guys like throwing worms this time of the year, summer dragging a big Carolina rig or a big Texas rig, I challenge you guys to throw this guy right here. Again, it is a must, it frees up that bait, and it has a ton of action. I haven't heard a lot of guys talk about fishing the giant TRD, but like I said, if you're a big worm fisherman, you guys know summertime worming is a thing, and this guy is a killer. So again, that's that giant TRD. As far as colors, I like obviously throwing June bug. Uh, the other color I like to throw, green pumpkin black flake, and then the straight black, it's called yoga pants. Those three are great colors, but again, your favorite, I don't even know what you wanna call this thing. Where's, got it in my pocket. You know, something, you can throw half ounce, three quarter ounce, whatever it is. And this guy right here, that's a five aught hook. So you can literally, I'll rig one of these up for you. You can literally throw this on a pretty stout, pretty, um, pretty heavy setup. So let's rig one of these cicadas. So this is called yoga pants. <laughs> pretty funny. Just black. Again, any of your TRD baits, any of your Z-Man Elastec baits, make sure you stretch them out. That just gives, I do that with all my Ned rigs um, that are from Z-Man that has that Elastec. Just kind of frees up that bait. Again, I'll kind of check it, just like I do the Senkos. I'll look for, you can kind of see how this, this kind of has a natural kind of swing down. Um, rig it in, pull it all the way up, turn it on itself, figure out your spot. Boom. That is a three quarter ounce, five aught heavy duty 
EWG hook and you're fishing a Ned rig, high float. Again, the trick is having it on that free, hey, can you keep it down up there? That free floating head, right? It moves all around, so much movement. But the benefit is you're tied right here. So you have a ton of feel. As that head is down there in the rock or sand or mud, chunk rock, whatever it is, you're just slowly bringing this up, pop it up, let it fall, and you're connected right here. You have all that sensitivity, all that feel in the head. And then when you do get that bite and you jack them, you don't have to worry about um, bending out a big hook like that. Um, but anyways, that is the giant TRD. So it's still a Ned rig, but it is super size. Guys, it's not all, it's not all about power fishing. It's not all about reaction this time of the year. Like I said earlier, it can get really tough. So don't be afraid to downsize your bait. And like I said, throwing that little, that little craw, that little TRD bugs on that weightless head, not weightless, weedless head, that guy is money. You can throw this on a light bait caster, a BFS setup if you want, a spinning setup. You can fish it right through the grass and you don't have to worry about getting hung up. That guy is money. You offshore guys, you guys know how much I love. This is the Robo Worm. Um, that's my one of my favorite colors, Desert Craw. And this is, it's like a, a green pumpkin, uh, has black and blue flake in it. I will link that down below, but that color is awesome too. But uh, fishing it on the little football head. Again, exposed hook. You can go up to a fairly heavy, heavy head. Get that down there on that bait caster. Uh, medium action, medium power um, spinning setup. And really fish deep if you need to. And then again, if you need to fish weedless, you can. But uh, guys, between these three ways to rig, like I said, the... And this guy right here, I challenge you guys to try it out. It is so much fun to fish. You know, a lot of worms just kind of have that dead action. Unless you're throwing a big rib ribbon tail worm or, you know, something with a big tail has a lot of commotion, a lot of action. Uh, they're fairly, unless you're giving that bait action, they're fairly actionless, right? But this guy down here uh, with that free swinging head and that high float, it puts that bait straight up and just sits there and just dances in those fish's face uh, and it works magic. So don't be afraid to throw the giant TRD this time of the year. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video or learned something. You know, it's not your, your traditional Ned rigging video, but these are three ways to rig a Ned rig that a lot of people don't talk about and that comes into play right now. That giant TRD, that Texas rig, TRD bugs, get your favorite craw pattern, throw this around the grass lines and you will have a great time. Guys, if you learned something from this video, hit that like button. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Uh, we appreciate you. We'll see you on the next video.